Hi, our question today is coming from uh, the uh, third maths A level, and uh, we're going to look at question number nine here. Using the substitution u is equal to tan x, or otherwise find the integral of sec squared x tan squared x dx. Right, the first thing we do is we look at this, that is the substitution itself. So u is equal to tan of x, we know that du over dx should equal sec square x. Now from here, we need to integrate this. So the integral then of, let me just put it over here, the integral of sec square x tan square x dx. Good. Now, another thing I would like to draw your attention to it, that sec square x is also equal to tan square x plus 1. Okay, and therefore we're going to use sec square x, okay, we're going to substitute sec square x for this because that is equal to tan square x plus 1. Then multiply by tan x, tan square x, that is tan square x, dx. What is dx? Now, if d over dx is equal to sec square x over 1, then dx over du is equal to 1 over sec square x. So multiply by 1 over sec square x. Now, of course, then you can go there, that is dx is equal to du over sec square x. So that's times du then. And we were told to use u as tan x. So tan square x is u square plus 1. Tan square x, which is u to the square, times 1 over sec square. Sec square x is, we also said that sec square x is tan square x plus 1. So that's then tan square x plus 1 we know is u square plus 1 as we said tan square x plus 1 is u square plus 1 u square plus 1 and of course this this can cross out you've got du you're left with the integral of u square du and that means if you integrate this you're going to get one third u to the cube therefore the answer to the question is that the integral of sec square x tan square x dx should be equal to one third tan of q x plus c. This is the first part. You have two parts for it. So. Okay. For the second part of the question, uh, which is coming from the last exam paper again, the same paper, uh, we've got i seven is all of that, okay, sec x to the power n, tan square x to the power n, the integral of it, and given that this is equal to i n, we need to use the result of d d x sec x to the sec x tan x to show that for n be greater than equal to 2 and n plus 1 times i sub n is equal to root of 2 to the power n minus 2 plus n minus 2 i sub n minus 2. Right, a very long question, but that's quite nice, carries 5 marks there. So let's copy down the question first of all. We got this whole thing here. Um, okay. Tan square x dx. And we need to use this result. Okay, the d dx sec x is equal to uh, sec x tan x. Good. Now, this can be represented as sec power, power 2 if you want x times sec x to the power n minus 2 and then times tan square x dx. Of course we've got the limits by 4 and 0. Now, where, where can we go from here? I can use the equation by part. If I say u is equal to this, sec power n minus 2 x, we can have du as n minus 2 times sec x to the power of n minus 3 and then times sec x tan x using chain rule okay and I've got db as if I want here 
6 square x times square x. And if we integrate this, we are going to get v times 1 third times cube x from the first part. So now we just apply integration by part, u dv, that means set our n minus 2x times 1 third times square times cube x minus the integral of v dv. So v the use of n minus 2, so we can say minus n minus 2 times the integral of, I mean this is divided by 3 there, and then if you take set power n minus 3 times set power 1, you're going to get set of our n minus 2. And then x, and then you take tan x and tan cube x, you get tan power 4 x dx. Okay, so here you can start by the limits, by and 4, 0. So what we're going to do, this is 1 over um, 3 cos of pi and 4, all of that to the power of n minus 2 times the tan of pi and 4, all of that to the q, then minus tan of 0 is 0. Of course, this whole thing here is separated. You take away n minus 2 over 3 into the integral of set of n minus 2x tan. This can be broken down times square x into sec square x minus 1 using the identity so dx. Good. Now, cos of pi and 4 pi and 4 one, one, root of 2. Okay, it is 1 over root of 2. So we've got then 1 over Okay, 3 divided by root of 2 over n minus 2. Okay, good. This is 1 to the cube because tan pi the force 1. Okay, and now over here, but this minus. Now here I've got n minus 2 over 3. This must go like that. This whole thing here must go like this. So sec to the power n minus 2 times sec of square is going to be equal to the integral of sec. The term to disappears. X power sec, x power n, okay, tan square x dx, then minus, minus becomes plus, and I'm left with this, I've got like 1 here, so and also n minus 2 over 3. That's the integral now of um, if I take this, this is sec square, I mean sec power n minus 2x, alright, times tan square x dx. Okay, so from here, I can easily say 1 over, one over th root of 3 over 2, okay, it's going to become, what well, 3 is outside. So that's going to become then root of 2 over 3 okay, to the power of um, n minus 2. Okay, and then this is minus. Uh, what about this? This is exactly the same as this. So this is equal to i n. So I can say minus n minus 2 over 3 i n. And we've got plus n minus 2 over 3. And I've got this one here. Now if this is um, this is n, and you've got n, and you've got n minus 2 here and square, alright? So the power n changes, and I'm going to get, then this becomes i n minus 2. That's what we're told, okay? i n minus 2. Alright, so now from here, I've got this expression, we were trying to integrate this. So this is i. Okay, and now what we do is we can bring all the three on the other side. So we've got three i n. Okay, minus this becomes plus on this side. So 
plus um, n minus 2, put this in brackets. Why I'm taking this on the other side? Because it's a sub n here, sub n here. Plus n minus 2, okay, i n. And all of that is equal to root of 2 to the power of n minus 2 plus n minus 2 i sub n minus 2. Right, from here, this part is not very difficult. If you take uh, 3 i n minus 2 i n, you're going to get i n. Okay, and then you got i n and then the, okay, we can say 3 i n minus 2 i n, okay, plus n i n is equal to all of that. Okay, 3 i n minus 2 i n is i n, and I've got i n, okay, outside, and I've got n plus 1. Okay, so this is n plus 1, because if you take this, this, plus n, yeah. i n, alright, plus n i n is equal to, okay, now from here, the i n is common, and I've got n plus 1, so n plus 1 times i n is equal to square root of 2 of n minus 2 plus n minus 2 i n minus 2. This has been proved. If you look carefully, this whole expression here right, is the same as this whole expression there. n into i n. n plus 1 i n, n plus 1 i n, root of n power n minus 2, plus n minus 2, i n minus 2. I hope this was not a very difficult question. It carries quite a lot of marks. 5 plus the first part is 2 marks, that means 7 marks for you. Take care.